This is Nathan, and I am bringing you part 5 of the SPS tutorial. So, uh, this, in this tutorial, we are going to optimize the frame rate for our little game here. Or, at least for the beginning. We might get to more later on. But, um, for most of you, we, I'm, I have a pretty good computer, and I'm running this at, like, 15 frames per second. So, that's, that's not very good. So, uh, I'm just going to show you guys a quick tip on how to make it run a little bit faster. And uh, so let's get to coding it. So uh, we're going to go into our movement script over here. And just at the very bottom, we're going to type game logic dot set logic tick rate. And then we're going to put 30. This is going to cut how many times the game is checking uh, the game logic so and it's gonna cut it in half so this is gonna pretty much almost double our frame rate so uh, let's just start up the game engine here and right now I am running it at 14 just about 14 frames per second and this is with my uh, Camtasia recorder going and that kinda kills the frame rate too so uh, now we're gonna lower the physics a little bit game lo wait, we're gonna type after that game logic dot set physics tick rate and we're gonna set it to 30 and now let's start up the game let engine now I'm I I'm running it at 14 frames per second still but you will be running it probably at like 30 frames per second just because uh, I have my recorder going, and that just, it's its just like YouTube, it kind of kills everything. But, um, so there's that. So, uh, now a lot of you wanted to know how to add a, uh, crosshair, so let's do that real quick. So I'm going to put our cursor right in front of our camera, just in there a little bit. Okay. Now we're gonna go into the camera view. We're gonna go to we're gonna press space, add mesh plane. We're going to size it down like quite a bit, a little bit more. Now we need to uh, go into our UV mapper, and I already have this up here. And if if the uh, texture doesn't show up, go into the just press F9 and go to UV texture and click new now we can go back to our crosshair and there we go so um we're going to size it down a little bit more I am going to parent it to the camera so now we have that now we have our crosshair so um now we can set up our our um our we'll just s set up what <laughs> so we need to go and put the cursor it's the cursor is already like right next to the uh to the crosshair which is going to be right there I'll zoom in for you guys and we need to go to space add empty and it got to zoom out a little bit there so there we go and you should have one axis pointing at either back of you or net or in front of you so right now I've got the X axis pointing in back of me or back of the player so I'm going to just parent this the the empty we just added to the crosshair so now we've got that now we need to click on, just only on the uh, empty we just added. We are going to add a sensor, and it's going to be a ray sensor. We're going to look for property of an object. This is, you'll see while we're doing this later. We're going to call this, um, we're just going to call this the ray, just for being a little vague there. And uh, we're going to set the range to like 150. And we're going to set it 
For me, it's the negative x-axis because we want it to go forward. And yeah, make sure that if, if you can visualize the negative x-axis, this right here, it would be going that way. So make sure it the it would not be uh, hitting any guns or nothing, and it's it's not it's in, not in the way. So I'm gonna set this to negative x axis, and we're gonna check this dot 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 here. Okay, so now we are going to set up our basic. Um, oh wait, I forgot. We need to add. We need to go into another layer. I think we already did this in one of the other tutorials, but we are going to we I just basically added a cube and put checked actor and dynamic and made the radius like five times bigger than the cube. Make sure the cube is fairly small though as this is going to act as our bullet. So I'm going to click back on our empty there that we just created. I'm going to go add an actuator and I'm going to go to edit object make sure that's to add object and we're going to go t type in bullet here as the name and we're going to set the time to like four actually two would be better and don't set any of these here. We're going to call this add bullet so now we've got that and now just to let you guys know in a lot of other FPS tutorials you've got balls that are coming out of the uh, that are just coming out of empties it's not gonna happen here don't don't just stop this tutorial because you've already done this before you have not this is uh, this is gonna be uh, this is I actually learned this way from uh, socials FPS tutorial and uh, there we have it. So, we're going to go into text editor. We're going to add a new script 